you know, you forget how nice the Anaconda model is, isn't it? And for years and ages, you know, we all sort of like strove to get an Anaconda and then it all became about, you know, the Corvette and the Cutters and all the rest of it. But this still is. It's a beast of a ship. Always reminds me of one of those fast boats off Miami Vice. Right. So here we go. We're off. So yeah, INRA bases. The first INRA base we're going to now is Carmichael Point. And we're gonna see if we can get there in one piece. Unregistered comms beacon there, and it does transmit a message. Um, you know, bait deployed and all the rest, but we'll get down there and, it, and it'll be it'll be great. Um, and, and we'll have a good look. Right. Okay. Let's go. And I did get, you know, bored. Really bored. Really quickly. Uh, in regards to mining. I'm not going to be doing that for a while, says he. Um, you watch and I'll be doing it, you know, <laughs> I'll be doing it next stream. Um, just going to get some of my where's my discovery scanner there we go right brilliant we're on our way Do a bit of scanning, get a bit of money. The planet we want is landable, and it's F, and we're coming in. And we're gonna get ourselves down, take a look round, have a good nose around. Got a scarab in the bay. There's Carmichael Point. That's where we're going. And you'll see the um, coordinates come up. But you want plus 73, plus 61, right, on the coordinates. That's generally what you're going to need for this. nice sort of like really light blue planet let's twist ourselves around of course with a lot of these bases they're in total darkness so you've got to have all your lights on there you go Carmichael point just get ready to drop. It's going to be around that crater. So this is the first INRA base, Carmichael Point. Now there are several bases um, in regards to this. Ten, and then of course you've got the Jameson crash site which we'll also visit between today and tomorrow, depending how long things go. 
Now the good thing is, since the last time I came here, I got night vision. I mean, it's all nice and dark, but you can just see, make out the base there, look. Just coming into view in that crater. So we're going to get all our lights on. And we'll land and try and give ourselves the maximum amount of, of light. Oh yeah, the missile attacks. Yeah, you've got to have the... Um, Point defense fitted to your ship. That's what you gotta do. Is that what you're talking about? Good old point defense. Now we have got something. There's a vulture over there, look. Lawless. Now I wanna do all of this completely and utterly. Unended by NPCs. So we're going to take this thing out. There he is. It's all landed. Looking all nice. All nice and cosy. He's got his uh, points deployed. He's not going to do the. Bl it's not going to make the blindest bit of difference for him. We're already on his shields now. We're right there, right on him. Possible, he says. Well, you know, a bit like Sainsbury's and Tesco, every little helps. dead yet. He might just get away, see. He did. Whatever. Did he leave any bits and pieces? No, he didn't. Anyway, we're not here for all that. We're here for Carmichael Base. That's what we're here for this down here. I'm going to go around, pick up all the bits, bits and pieces. And slow ourselves down, power to our systems. have a good look around. It 
So, there you go, Carmichael base. Now hopefully when Odyssey kicks in, these are going to be the places to go and have a good look at. Because, you know, it's, it's a kind of a set configuration for a base, isn't it, really? But yeah, you know, it, it's it's good, it's funky, it's dark, it's, e it's eerie. It's abandoned. There's these massive chemical tanks here yeah, with all that ooze at the top. All right? These are great. So let's get this on the deck and in gear down. Come on, we should be able to land this there. Let's go back a bit. And we're down. Got our lights on. Shields are full on in case anybody pops in. Which we don't really want. Carmichael base. So into the SRV. Now we're gonna want all the lights on. And here it is, Carmichael base. Gonna be stuff knocking about for us to pick up. It's always very eerie. You know, I think these have been one of the best in-game set pieces to pick up and, and do in the game, right? I mean, yeah, a couple of rocks that, you know, your SRV can't normally handle. But there's places to scan, there's items to pick up, look. Mechanical scrap, oh, we need all of this. Good old shield emitters. Now we got loads of them, um, so we're right with that. But, you know, again, you can come out of this, it can all respawn, and, and, and you're away. Good place for picking up materials. Here we go. So if you don't need the shield emitters. But we're gonna still go around and pick up all the items. Here's a comms log, we're gonna scan that. Right, let's take a look at our communication side of this. Discovered logs, that's one of four, watching the sky. Another one over there. to pick up hybrid capacitors don't mind if I do shield emitters we got that what's this more mechanical scrap salvaged alloys so a great place to pick up on some of those materials This comms log to, to go and scan. And a 
course, we've got... We don't want to miss out on this stuff, do we? Scan the data point, what are we going to get? Incoming message. Unusual encrypted files. Oh yes. Not to be sniffed at. Let's continue our our trot around. So we scan that. Back around the rest of the base just to make sure we got everything. Lots of canisters laying around. So there's a, the huge anaconda. Get on this loading dock. And there's some items over there to pick up. More mechanical scrap, which is good. We need all that for our cannons. Heat dispersion plate. So, you know, you do get quite a wealth of materials. Chemical processor. I think I scanned that. I did. Definitely scanned it. So I think I've got them all. I've got all the, um, all the information. Discovered logs. No, I need one more. Let's see if I can find that now. Again, here's these massive storage tanks. Huge tanks. I mean, just look at them. With all this sort of like corrosive gunge on it. Zoom around. Zoom around the back. Again, we've got storage tanks over here. We've seen these before, you know, more recently, um, just before Christmas. Can't quite see them at the moment. We've got something there that needs scanning, which is good. We found it. It's all in so much darkness. It's a shame, really. So for those of you who just joined, we are doing the Inra Bases. Inra Bases Live. I'm down here in the Anaconda. Just having a good look around. Typically, I'm just looking as well for the um, the other data point to scan. That's probably it there, I think. And I've got all four logs. I have. That's it. All done. Um, all scanned. Items knocking around. I've currently got all of these. Um... <laughs> Domestos leaking out. You got it. How you doing, Phil? So yes, the old Inra base. Can't really see much. Lots of it in darkness, even with the lights on the Anaconda, which to be fair, they're terribly small lights, aren't they? Um, Kind of get ourselves in the middle of things and then listen to the logs so if you haven't been here um good old spoiler alert now Carcass, 
Right, so we want to go to our communications. Discovered logs. Watching the sky. Everything is in place. If the Fargoids take the bait, this facility should come under attack very soon. And when it does, we'll find out if our new weapons are worth a damn. It's taken a lot of time and effort to make this place look like an important military site. I just hope they fall for it. It's about time we started fighting back. Hmm. The Fargo's going to take the bait. No, I didn't watch Cobra Kai last night. I got made to watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Which is a great film. Uh, and then I fell asleep because I was tired. <laughs> but... I got Star Trek to watch, Willy Wonka to watch, um, and I've logged on to HBO via VPN, so I, I've, I've registered, so I might get Wonder Woman and watch that, I don't know. Everyone's on edge. It's like seeing an approaching storm and waiting for it to break. The air is heavy with the threat of violence. Maybe they didn't take the bait. Maybe we hid it too well, or maybe we didn't hide it well enough. What if they realize this is a trap? I suppose it's too late to worry about that now. All we can do is watch the sky and wait. There you go. Again, good stuff. Yeah, I've got me scarab lights on full beam. Don't worry about that. So log three of watching the sky in Carmichael Point. Contact confirmed. Thargoids 1,000 light seconds from sight and closing. Ready all weapon systems and prepare to fire on my order. We've only got one shot at this and I don't want to miss. Wait, wait. Shoot. Will somebody scan that thing? And tell command we've got a mothership here. And get them the data as soon as possible. All right, all right. That's close enough. Fire up all batteries. So, did they hit it? Ooh, the suspense, everybody. <laughs> I know you're not worried. Test unsuccessful. Target suffered minimal damage. Sight lost. All operatives lost. So there you have it. They thought they had some weapons. They lured the Thargoids in. The Thargoid said, yeah, I'll have some of that. They came in. They fired all their weapons that they had. Shot their bolt, as it were. The Thargoids laughed at them and destroyed the base. Now, good set of logs, this. Great set of logs. And it starts to tell a really good story. So, while we're here, I'm going to just pop back to the main menu and go around and pick the materials up again because, you know, why not? And it's all about material farming as well. So all this is set during Main beam during the first Thargoid War. So what we've got this time. Heat dispersion plate, need them, and we need basic conductors, we need all of that. So it really is a great area. For items.
Not too many items, but items all the same. Now they're repeating themselves now, that. Specialized legacy firmware. That time. Heat conductive wiring. Allow we'll that. items over this bridge. Galvanized alloys, we've got that, and a heat dispersion plate. So we'll take that off their hands. Again, some more heat conduction wiring. For that, what we got there, crystal shards. I could do with some of those. Bit of wiring to pick up. So, good stuff. Moving on. Back in the ship. Time to go and move on to the next one. So this was site one. There's a anaconda. Anaconda in. Back a bit, back a bit, back a bit, up a bit, left a bit. Here we go. Get us on board. So the next one we need, and I'm debating to see how far away it is, whether or not I gotta jump the thing. Yeah, I scanned it. Um, God, twelve trianguli. Now it's not too far away. We can do it in the ship, seventy three light years. Right? Not too far away at all. And the next one is stack. No, it's not. It's actually it's Taylor Keep. Uh, and basically, again, you know, um, Taylor Keep, again, is part of the INRA Intergalactic Naval Reserve Arm. And you get a bit more of the story. Right, let's go. Get the wake scans. Oh, don't know. I honestly don't know. I usually sit outside the station um, and let people jump away with an engineered wake scanner uh, and get all my wake scans there. Really? Now what's my jump range on this? 46. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. We are now leaving. We're 
Carmichael Point, which was down there. And select that. Jump away from the planet and then we're off. going. We are leaving this party. It was quite a good little story, isn't it? I still don't know when Odyssey comes out. Where, am I, where do I want to pack my ship and where do I want to be, you know, when Odyssey drops? in regards to all these places. Dunno. Okay, we're off. Making our way to the second point now, which is Taylor Keep. jump really twelve triangulae that's where we're going and we want I think A2 no A1 that's what we want here Taylor Keep. Not too far away. Let's see what we got in the system. So a couple of ringed planets. Quite a few ringed planets in fact. That's where we're going. Of course, it's a secret base. It's not going to show up, is it? Other side of the planet? Of course it is. It couldn't possibly be in total daylight, could it? I don't know. 
you might have a little bit of light, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Again, they've parked it right in the middle of that crater. We're going in, everybody. We're going in. Taylor Keep. Yeah, you're right there, Steve. How are you doing? Happy New Year. Um, you're right. And they went dark after the first Thargoid War, didn't they? This is the thing. in them windows, eh? Yeah, we're going to drop in. We're heading straight for the nipple in that crater. And it's good to go back and revisit some of these places in Elite Dangerous, I think, you know, because you do tend to sort of, you forget. You get so caught up in mining and so caught up in something else. It's good to go on a good mystery tour, you know, and they, they've been far and few and far between. In elite. Oh, yes, we're going in. Not even remotely touching the stick. I want to get as close as I possibly can. I'm still a fair old trot away. There's still a fair old trot away. We're we'll right in the crescent of that mountain range. Just there. So we're going in. Let's turn that off. Still hunting for that Raxler, eh, Steve? Yeah, I know what you mean.
I mean, what do people think it is? Is it going to be like an installation, a base, a, a city, or what? You know, is it just going to be a planet? At least we'll be able to see what's going on when we get there. Just get the get the wheels down. We is down. Now, things to look at round here straight away. Gun emplacements. See? There they are. Slightly different type of base here. If you look at the guns, the guns are pointed inwards as opposed to being pointed outwards. They're not. They're not worried about keeping things out as opposed to keeping things in. That's my interpretation of it anyway. But we've got, again, we've got a huge administration block stack. We've got those sort of in-ground tanks all emblazoned with the words INRA on them. Again, habitation modules. We've got the beacon. We've got another one there, the scan, which is gonna be good. But in all, I know Steve, I was only I was only messing with you. You've done a you've done a lot of work, I know you have. Let's deploy it. Now this is a different aspect. You know, here we are, trundling around. Right? For a change, the lights are on. Right? For a change. Which is great. Still loads of things to pick up. Things rolling about, look. We've got your chemical storage unit. We'll have some of that. Don't need those. Yeah, I think you're right. I reckon it is a rogue planet somewhere. It's got to be something like that. Is that crystal shards? Swing back around. Let's scan that comms link all our hopes so three of three so only three here then not so bad still zoom around so again storage tanks with those that nasty domestos stuff not Phil was saying. Got that. 
it would be good if it was, you know, a portal to another galaxy. Commander Bullet, how are you doing? Happy New Year. It would be, you know, a data point reset time. Oh yes, folks. Security protocol activated. Oh no. Thirty six seconds to go and do something. As well, link established. The one over there, let's go and get that. We're doing those in the time zone. We got some tagged encryption codes and some specialized legacy firmware. Not to be sniffed at, eh? Let's go back around to picking up our logs and picking up the materials that have been left laying around by, by this lot. I wish they'd do something about these rocks. If I remember, there was one just around the corner. What have we got here? Mechanical scrap. Oh, we need that. We've got the shield emitters. Heat conductive wiring. Thank you. Now there was that to scan over there. That's the second one. I really enjoyed this the first time I did it. And everyone, everyone jumping around to different planets and somebody would post something on, on YouTube and everyone would jump and go that way. Oh, it was great. I really enjoyed it. The same with um, the ghost ship that turned up not so long ago. That was good. Really enjoyed that too. Where have I got it all? I have, I have got them all. So a quick whiz round, make sure I picked up all the materials. listen to the logs okay so this is all our hopes this is site two Taylor keep let's see what's going on I'll admit I had my reservations about this commander Jameson I looked into his background and apparently he climbed the ranks of the pilots Federation with unprecedented speed he's revered by other pilots <laughs> but that doesn't mean he's suited to the task. But then it struck me. All we need is someone who can get the payload where it needs to go. 
the hard work. The development of the mycoid has already been done. All Jameson has to do is push a button. The important thing is to play up the whole saving humanity angle. Make him feel like a hero. That should stop him asking too many questions. And if everything goes wrong, we can just pin the blame on him. Now that's harsh, isn't it? You know, we all know Commander Jameson was the default commander from the original games. He's being set up to fail. We know this. We can see it. That's what's going on. So, um... Hey. Not to worry. No dramas. Let's see how it all plays out. Let's go to the next log. Having received the payload from the Alnath system, we prepared a number of medium-range missiles loaded with a weaponized version of the mycoid. Jameson will be here in three days to prep for the mission, which should give us more than enough time to fit his vessel. Apparently, he insisted on using his own ship. I've also ordered that some special modifications be made to his craft. He'll have to get close to launch the missiles, so it's unlikely he'll be coming back. But if he does survive, there are contingencies in place. They're going to bump him off. And now the third log of all our hopes. Where they're talking about the delivery of some medium range missiles that are laced with a chemical agent. The Myco, if what we're seeing in all those tanks. Welcome, Commander Jameson. Your reputation precedes you. We are extremely grateful you chose to accept this mission. I understand that the purpose of the assignment has been explained to you, but allow me to reiterate. This mission, if executed successfully, could mean the end of our war with the Thargoids. Its importance cannot be overstated. The consignment has been loaded onto your ship. We have made some minor modifications to your vessel, but it should not affect the performance or functionality in any way. This is an extremely dangerous mission, Commander. You will be heading deep into enemy territory. If anything goes wrong, you're on your own. Good luck, Commander. The future of the human race is in your hands. All our hopes and prayers go with you. Hopes and prayers, eh? Hopes and prayers. Well, there you have it. Hopes and prayers. Good grief. Give them hopes and prayers. So while I'm here, I'm going to do the same again. Just knock out back to the main menu. Taking its time, isn't it? Here they come. Well, what are they? Yeah, heat conduction wiring. Thank you. Launch limiters. Don't need that. We're off now to scan. Data points. And to get whatever they can give us. Of 
course it's a rolling timer so the quicker I get to all these points and pick up this and, and scan them the more time I get So we got one minute, 20 seconds on the side of this landing pad. Still got our cargo scooped down. Pick up this heat dispersion plate. I'll try and remember where the other unit is. There it is. Somewhere there. Incoming message. And where did I get that time? Modify consumer firmware and legacy firmware. Good stuff. Moving on. Salvaged alloys. Let's pick it up. Heat conductive wiring. Pick that up. back to the old ship. And that's that. That's the second one. Now the third one we're going to go off to is going to be a place called Stack in the HIP 12099 system. So picking up a few materials, yeah, you could stay there all day, really, and and do that sort of thing. Right. So there we are. That was. Taylor Keep, everybody. Again, nice and eerie. Quite a bit of data and materials to be found. Good stuff. Right. We're off to do, 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 the next one. Hip, one, two, zero. Nine nine. Not too far away. Two cheeky jumps. We're not going to be able to jump straight through the planet, are we? So, let's just see what sort of NPC this is. If anything at all. Right, um... Broken mass lock. See you all later. T 
Taylor Keep. I like that base. Partly because you can see what's going on, right? Hammer off and the story unfolds. So, yeah, we're accelerating away from that planet. Two bases in on our whistle stop tour. Over to the inner Orion Spur now. So this is Anarchy System. system scan complete. Apparently. Taking a little nibble of, nibble of fuel. And off to HIP 12099. And we want planet 1A there. Identified signal sources knocking about. We, however, what we want. Look at the system map. Lots of carriers in this system. 1A, that's where we are going. Don't know why exactly, probably because there's a lot of thighs knocking about. Okay, here we go. Should be coming up. Got the Jameson crash site. Which is always good. It's a great source and area for um, for materials. But we want stack. Let's get ourselves there. And it's interesting that, you know, Jameson crashes in the same area as the Inra base. So 
So here we are on our approach. Lots of lots of ships. Galactica. There's always a good Galactica knocking about, look. So where are all these people here? What's in those rings? Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look. Where's my modules? Looks like I haven't got one fitted. To this ship. Which is interesting. Let's carry on. So, we've been reliably informed that if you've got Netflix, Cobra Kai Season 3 is out, which would be great. Watch a bit of that tonight. If that's the case. It's a lovely looking planet, this one, Stack. Or it was before it just literally disappeared. From view. Just lots of carriers around. It's going to be another, oh, I haven't got the lights on mission. In total darkness. Now we're getting a little bit of colour. I completely cocked that up, didn't I? Let's try that again. Come on, frameshift drive, cool down. Get away a little bit. So we've got time to swing back round and then drop. Right, anchors on. There it is. That's where we're going. Nice and slow. Strange looking planet like, isn't it, you know, from from this angle. Looks like clouds in this sort of effect, but it isn't. Here we are gliding on down. Can't really see much. 
but we're on course. Yeah, the occlusions are great, aren't they? I mean, the one behind. Look at that. If anything, that makes a really good background. Really good background. Right, where are we from that? Oh, not far. So you can't see nothing. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Could you have turned all that on? Just peeking over that mountain range. Yeah, you're right, Commander Bullet. Totally fantastic. So this is stack. With all the lights on. So again, we've got massive tanks. Right there, huge administration building. And you know, it's like a mist, a red mist around you, isn't it? So what have we got? Usual buildings, materials, lots of, um, well we know that now to be the mycoid substance. So like being wafted around, come out the tanks, leaking tanks. Got storage tanks again. Let's set ourselves down just for completeness at the front gate. Nipping a bit quicker, a bit closer. And we're down. But look, over there, in the shadows. Big craney thing. Oh. So, let's do what we gotta do. Get some more lights on. Can I go scoop? And into stack base. It's our first log to scan. Crystal shards, I'm totally full of those now. Got some mechanical equipment over there. Scan that up log. Wiring. Look at that. What have we got? Come round to that in a minute. Lots of open storage crates. Heat dispersion plates. Need all of that. 
chemical storage units. Have all of that. Massive administration building. Time. Classified scan data banks. Again, loads of my mycoid sort of like tanks oozing everywhere. How many of those have we got to? Scan. One more. Then that one. Meters. Don't need that. We've got these massive tanks over here. More storage tanks over there. on rolling there's a massive sort of like crane apparatus you can see over there in the distance that's where we're going We've got all our lights on just looking for a few materials that could be knocking about So what are the Inra bases and law? It all details um, what humanity was doing or what Inra was doing in regards to destroying the Thargoid threat of the first Thargoid war and how they developed and captured a Thargoid, which we're going to find out here, and what they did to drive them back because only now they've sort of like turned up and are starting to... Um, make a nuisance of themselves and that's what they are they're a nuisance um there's a final comms log we'll have a quick look around and see what we can pick up but the idea is got these tanks right and there's all this splurge coming out here inra developed a weapon called the mycoid virus which they weaponized and as we found out from some of the other logs that we've currently had from Taylor Keep and um, Carmichael Point. Right? So you've got a myco hazard there, look. And in here, all bits of Thargoid. So, if we look. They'd captured a Thargoid or something or other, and there's a great big sort of tent tentacle and claw and what have you. And they was testing this weapon on them. Yeah, Inra came round about, I don't know, three, four years ago, 
as a sort of in-game sort of trailer breadcrumbs event. And it had people jumping all over the different systems. Um, and as a result, you get led down this little bit of Thargoid law. Okay. Videos are on my channel. Like and subscribe. Because there's a lot of stuff on there in regards to that. But these are all abandoned settlements around the development of this mycoid agent. Right, here we are. We're mixing up now in amongst the Thargoid stuff. And as we sit here, there's an admin building. All these are the buildings as well. He was, you're right, he was employed by INRA. That's the crane, obviously, to lift the Thargoid specimen in. And there's a planet peeking over that mountain range. It's all in darkness, look. And the mission, really, was the attempted genocide of the Thargoid race with the mycoid virus. So is it is little wonder that they're not very happy. With us. Let's just put the night vision on so we can have a good look. This sort of massive admin building or holding cell or whatever it is. Now, the Jameson crash site is in system. And it is very tempting to go there now. Right? Scan the logs and what have you, and away you go. But what we're going to do is, we're going to park ourselves by here and play the logs of this base. Living specimen. So they capture a Thargoid to experiment on. I keep telling them, there's only so much we can do with the samples we've been given. We need a living specimen. Short and sweet. Apparently they listened to me. We've been asked to build some testing apparatus in a secure enclosure. I drew up a preliminary specification, but was told the enclosure needed to be more robust. These creatures must be tremendously strong. The specimen arrived today. The security reports indicate that it made several escape attempts, the most recent of which resulting in a number of deaths. We must take every precaution. The specimen appears to be in poor physical health, but it's undoubtedly alive, and it will certainly serve our purposes. More than one base? Oh yeah, this is this is the third, third base out of ten, I think there is. seems to be able to withstand severe physical trauma, even to the point of losing limbs. I was reminded of pulling the legs of spiders as a child. Unfortunately, testing on a non-human means no legal red tape to slow things down. Tomorrow we will begin experimenting with chemical and biological weapons. These creatures may be tough, but we will find their weakness. Now that's a bit of a heavy point, isn't it? Right? I was reminded of pulling the legs off spiders as a child. Ugh. 
Good grief. You know. You know, ridiculous. So what we've done is, that's the third base. As I've mentioned, Jameson's crash site is here as well, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Every man and his dog seems to be here as well. Probably the farm. The, um, the data you get from Jameson's ship. So there's been some items, a bigger base this, as you can imagine, you know, we know it's, they've done the, um, the experimentation on the Thargoid there. The next one we're gonna go to is Almeida Landing. And that's in the con system. But all these places are really good to get your materials, scrap metal for your engineering and all that, chemical arrays. A bit like Dav's Hope, really. It is, it is creepy stuff. Dark as well, see? You see, we've got the, um, where is it, Jameson crash site right there, right? It's not far at all. But I don't want to do that yet. We want to do it as the story unfolds. So we'll probably get to that tomorrow. So the next thing we want to do is con. There it is. 181 light years away. Bit of a distance. Will be Almeida landing. Landing gear retracted. We're off. You barely know it was there. What a spectacular place, though. jump we got a fuel scoop we'll get there in a couple of jumps four jumps Okay, so next is Almeida landing. Um, slightly different base here. And we've got quite a few more to go on. We go into Con A3, which is where the facility is. Well, that's, in well, that's strange, isn't it? Don't know what's going on there. But no. Happy New Year anyway. Happy New Year, everybody. And what a New Year this could well be. Odyssey coming. 
Hopefully they'll release Subnautica Below Zero. That game has been 16 ways to finish now. Just release it. Um, quite a few good things coming. So let's jump. Well, of course, if we jump around, we're also going to be gathering some... Scoop up some fuel. Never gets old, these pictures. Yeah, so good. The Galnet skin on this, I think, is a great skin. Come on, scoop up all that fuel. Okay, we should nearly be on the go here. Finally, moving on. The Perret system. Temperature's just going down now, it's good stuff. We've already scanned the system. Three jumps to go. Explored system. Bit of scooping going on. Off to Heeb. Or Hebe. Heeb, I think it is. Jumping away. In your bases. Um, Bases built around the law of the first Thargoid war, that's what they are, and the development of the microbe virus. This will be a stream of two parts, one today, one tomorrow. This is now base four we're going to, and each base tells a story. So next, ju next jump is going to be Con, where Almeida Landing is going to be. Good 45 light years away.
Right, here we are. Let's put the anchors on. Here's our system map. We want A3. One, two, three. Not that one. That one. Um, A3A. I think. It's already a carrier in the system. Who's this? Whose carrier is this? Somewhere French, by the look of it. So. While we're refueling, there's Almedia, Almeda landing. Here we go, hammering away towards Almeida Landing. So this is base four out of five bases. Each one telling a story. Okay, here we go. Don't want to overshoot it just yet. Slow down a little bit more. Got a lovely sort of like blue jewel of a planet. Again, the base is going to be on the dark side. And we're nicely lined up. Yeah, the fleet carriers came in about, oh, I'm gonna say October, September, October time. I think it was. Problem we got now is time has no meaning. We just have yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The different levels of lockdown and what have you. Here we go, we're dropping in. Get our glide on. You're right, it is one of the best games out there. I mean, people do still go on about Star Citizen. I haven't played that for a while. That we can see much. In fact, we can't see anything. We're relying on the fact that we can see at some mountain range. And a base is just starting to come up now.
Yeah, it would have been, because they announced Odyssey at the same sort of time. So this is Almeida Landing. Let's put the anchors on. I think we could be down, you know. <laughs> we might have landed. Um, and here it is. Let's find a decent place to park, shall we? The top of this hill. Normally I, t I take a, a smaller ship with me. And up until now, I haven't had much problem landing. Of course, it would have had the gear down, wouldn't it? Right, here we go. Are we down? Alignment okay. Come on, I should be down now. Hello, Tony. What is it like in Pontypool? Just bloody cold in Barry. Let's try there. Yeah, we're down finally. Woohoo! Time to deploy. Get all our lights on. Here we go. Almeida landing on Con A3. Yeah, same year, cold and wet. Right. A few things to scan. Got some data over there, look. Obviously we've got things to pick up as well. Again, lots of Inra tanks around. That scanning the settlement logs. Smaller base this time. Hybrid capacitors. Ooh, we'll have that. More hybrid capacitors there. Mechanical equipment. Heat dispersion plate. Data point as well. that one. So lots of mess left around. Another uplink. Scan that. Another log there. Just behind that building. I do, it does put a bit of pressure on you running a carrier. Like, oh, I've got to make money. I've got to make money to get it. You know? It's, um... 
It is a pain. It's a right pain. That's me crystal shard storage fault. Typically there's more crystal shards here, look. I think we've done that one. Yeah, we have. Right, let's just nip around, see what else we've got knocking about here. I think we've got a lot of the logs. Done that one. That's the final one now. An incoming message. What did I get? Unusual encrypted files. Lovely. Have I got the logs? No, it's one more I need. Reverse engineered is what I need. Did that one. That's all the logs I got now. Good stuff. Let's get over this. Bridge. Is there anything else to pick up? Which there isn't. Ooh. What is that? Mechanical scrap. Thank you. Let's get these logs. Right. So, reverse engineered. Here we go. They told me not to ask where it came from. Just to reverse engineer whatever I can. Weapons, shields, power management. Anything I can figure out. It's, it's like giving a rocket to a Neanderthal and expecting them to fix it. I mean, where do I even start? At least they're paying me well. That's something. Money, money, baby. Reverse engineering of Thargoid equipment. They're doing the Robigo Mines, are you, Saxus? Tests. But why 
once again I got stonewalled. Granted, the wormhole is stable. But we have no idea what will happen when you send a human being through it. What will happen to the pilot? You know, that's Jameson, don't we? So, on the last log. The ship didn't reappear for almost an hour. When it did, it just drifted lifelessly. The pilot didn't respond to our hails. We recovered the vessel and pulled open the cockpit. What I saw in there will stay with me for the rest of my life. The pilot looked like he'd been turned inside out. That cocky young kid who thought he ruled the sky. I have to say, my sympathy didn't last long when I found out they're going to pin it on me. They've cancelled the project and launched an investigation. That's just window dressing. There's no doubt in my mind they'll carry on testing in secret. Meanwhile, I'm the one who's going to take the fall. There is a chance I might be able to make it out of this. Apparently, they've developed some kind of Thargoid killing super weapon. And they don't want so much as a whisper in the public domain. So, this is the choice I'm going to give them. Let me walk. And I say nothing. Set me up, and everyone discovers that the INRA is in the genocide business. It's a risky move. But what other choice do I have? Wonder how that's going to work out for her. Who knows, eh? So, there you have it. Reverse engineering, Thargoid tech. That's some heavy stuff. Now the next base we're off to go and take a look at is, again, a different base, a medical base. And it's called Velasquez Medical Research Centre. And that's on LP38995, Planet 7. So, that's what we're going to do. But we're not going to do it today, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to end the stream there. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. I'll be doing another stream and we'll be covering off the remaining six bases and Commander Jameson's resting place. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, if you haven't done so. I'll be back tomorrow. I've enjoyed your company. See you.